Hi and welcome to Watch the Time and my update on a couple of uh, couple of things here and uh, just firstly this um, video is not sponsored in any way by Watch Gecko. Uh, I'm just using their little uh, cloth that they sent me for free with some straps uh, to do the work on and uh, it just makes it easier to see I've, on this it was a bit awkward to see. Now a uh, quick shout out to Watch Gecko. They're, um, I've ordered a couple of their straps recently. I'm wearing um, one of them on the uh, the Dan Henry. Now this is a watch that um, I really like and my partner bought for me. It's the 1963, lovely watch. But the strap used to annoy the hell out of me because the uh, the keeper didn't keep properly and it was just, um, just annoying. So I'd ordered one of these uh, canvas straps for my uh, Seiko Arnie and I absolutely loved it uh, wearing it on it and one of the main things about these canvas straps I mean the really high quality really high quality keepers and stuff was the fact that once you once it's on it does not move this does not move and it they're just so comfortable and sort of they feel hard wearing extremely quality made not particularly expensive it's about 20 quid and so I just wanted to do a shout out to to watch gecko you know I think their straps are fantastic so thanks very much to them and as I said, I've got no affiliation or anything with them if you buy their straps it's entirely up to you I don't get you know, anything for it I just if I like a product I'll tell you about it so the main reason for this video is the Steel Dive 1970, obviously, obviously a, a homage to the Captain Willard uh, Seiko. Um, I found this to be an absolutely fantastic watch. This is the green one, um, really nice. My only issue was, um, and it wasn't really the bracelet, it was with the uh, buckle thing or the clasp. So I ordered a, a new clasp and that's what we're gonna have a look at today. Now, after seeing the new clasp, it's virtually identical to the, the existing one, apart from it's a milled rather than a pressed clasp. So I may well have just got a, a duff one, and I'll, I'll show you the problem I had with mine in that it's it's very weak here, it's all a bit floppy, um, it doesn't really hold shut that well. On wrist, to be fair, it's been absolutely fine. I've been wearing it on this and I've not really had any issues whatsoever but it's just not very nice it's just a very basic as cheap as you like press clasp so I ordered a uh, just a cheapo one off uh, AliExpress this cost me six pound delivered um, come all the way from China it's taken a couple of weeks to get here but this one the clasp there's no movement at all in that clasp I'm just going to tippy tap it there no movement at all in that it's lovely and solid double pushers and then it, it's all nicely uh, nicely finished on the inside um, you know it's a, a nice quality nothing too fancy but just nice quality so what we're going to do is we're going to pop it on the watch now because of the profile obviously this is really thin this is a lot thicker I know for a fact this is going to wear a little bit tighter on the wrist which is good because on the bracelet um, with this one on this watch was perfect if I was cold as soon as I warmed up it got a little bit too tight and I found myself having to release it and letting it off um, so I know I'm gonna have to adjust it a little bit um, but I think hopefully it will wear tighter but I'll be able to shift it on one of the micro adjust and therefore get a better fit it may be the same I don't know so in the kit I got this this little tool and a load of spring bars that um, I don't need so I'm just going to use the ones that are, are on the watch already um, so let's get it on as they say and uh, and fit it so it's just a couple of spring bars it's just a case of popping them in so we're just going to pop this one in first and I'm going to put it on the I was in the middle so I'm going to put it on the outer hole because I think that's where it's going to need to be that in and then do the other side just pop that in there That 
ones in there. There we go. So that's fitted. Let's just chest test it. Make sure I put it on the right way around. I think I have, haven't I? Yep. So there you go. Already looks better. Perfect. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Yep, there we go. So no no sort of movement in it that's nice and snug I can flick it up nicely it's nice and secure a lovely lovely click to that uh, really happy with that so there's a closer look see nice and secure that's perfect and when you when you actually come to open it and use it it's just a nicer having a milled clasp it just looks nicer it feels nicer just that little bit better quality now all I would say is that you know when the, the watch is about I think the watch was 105 pounds I think to the cost of I mean I bought the, the milled class for six quid from China so uh, this one must have cost you know a couple of quid at least so I think the difference in the two clasps when it comes to specking the watch out is probably you know maybe a, a pound or two so why not just use the the milled clasp and add add a pound or two onto the price of the, the watch you know I know that people are trying to get down to a budget but I'm sure a couple of quid ain't going to make much difference to to this watch because it's such a good watch um, you know I, I've, I've sort of made a couple of videos on this watch now and I can't get across to you how good a watch this is and uh, I just I, I really can't you know you've seen my if you've seen the video you'll know the, the couple of little issues I've had with it but nothing major and one of them was the clasp so I've, I've now rectified that and um, you know as I say I might have just got a duff clasp that was you know poorly machined or poorly put together and uh, you might be lucky and get a better one but I think even even if this work worked perfectly I'd still do the upgrade because it's a uh, you know, my, you know such a low cost upgrade that I don't know why you wouldn't do it and you know they send you I mean I've got I've now got five spare spring bars which you know these, these always come in handy for things and a, a, a little spring bar removal tool um, came in the package as well so you know it, it's one of those it's it's an absolute no-brainer in in my opinion and it's not like the clasp that was on there was signed or detailed in any way it's just a generic clasp I say that they look virtually the same the brushing is slightly smoother on this one than this one but other than that you know they're pretty much um, identical other than this is milled much nicer quality and I think this watch deserves a, a much nicer clasp so I'm even more happy with this watch now and um, to the extent where I'm actually now thinking about pulling the trigger on a, a second steel dive watch and if the quality is as good as this I'm gonna I know I'm gonna be happy with it so um, again shout out to watch gecko um, I, so I've ordered these these straps and uh, they're quick release canvas straps really high quality they've transformed both of these watches I was gonna sell this watch until I, I put it on this strap and it's transformed it and it looks absolutely fantastic I've matched the color to the the loom this kind of uh, I don't know is that it's sort of like a brownie sandy color I think they call that and uh, it, I think it just works perfectly and it's you know transformed the watch and I'm now keeping it um, you know 100% so thanks for watching, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.